Confidence. And say, from the moment you got here, like I've always been confident. But going out on a game like that and performing at the level that you did, I mean, it still has got to boost you going forward, right? Um, yeah, uh, confidence is, is key at corner. Um, I always, you know, you, you can never really lose it when you're a cornerback. So it's, it's one of the most important things, you know, whether you're going against, you know, the best or the worst, you always got to you know, treat everybody the same and have, have a high level of confidence because, I mean, playing at, at that position, you're going to give up some and you're going to make a lot. So you got to have confidence whether you make a good play or make a bad play. When you were at Bama, you played some teams that uh, maybe were winless, like the Browns. Uh, did you guys go in, did you learn then to be con that you can't be overconfident no matter who you're playing? Um, definitely. At uh, Bama, we play you know, a lot of teams that we definitely should easily run over. But um, the difference between then and now, um, just about every team we played, you can really be beat. Any team can beat you in the NFL. That's, that's one of the things that I learned um, pretty quickly. You know, you go into a game and you think, oh, we should beat this team. And then you end up coming up short and you're like, well, wow, it's just never really a guaranteed win in the NFL. So you, you got to treat every team the same, um, no matter what the record is. Did you get the sense how uh, ticked off kind of some of your defensive teammates have been this week after what happened on Sunday? Do you feel kind of that ratchet up a little bit uh, this week? Uh, definitely. I would. You know, I think everybody was was a little bit down um, after that loss. You know, we felt like we had them. Um, came in yesterday, and you know, I was a little down. I, looking at some of the guys and the uh, the the children that came and sang to us, they really kind of you know, they were singing the song "Rise Up," and um, I was feeling pretty down. I know some of my teammates were, and um, they were singing. It really kind of just made me smile. It just made me, you know, just think a little bit. You know, football is right now my occupation, but you know, it's it's not everything. You know, winning and losing isn't everything, but um. It definitely made me feel a lot better. I, uh, I was very, very grateful that Coach Harbaugh let them come and sing to us and um, kind of put us in some good spirits. What was your impression of your first game in Heinz Field in that atmosphere? I loved it. Uh, yeah, it, um, you know, I run out there, and the first thing I hear is, uh, uh, 29, you're scared already. So um, I, I, love, I love that kind of stuff. Um, I, the, the amount of times I heard uh, Antonio Brown is going to kill you today was just unreal. I, I love that, you know. FUs and you suck and I, I that's that's why I love I, I love away games. Um, it's just it's like I can I can I can play more clear when when you know it's a lot of hate when I feel energy like that. After the game we lost, it just was like I just ran straight off. I was just like God, we let them get one. But um, I love I love Hans Field. I can't wait to can't wait to win one there. Well, what can you take from your experience against Antonio Brown and taking that into Sunday's game against possibly uh, Josh Gordon? Um, they're, they're, Antonio Brown is, you know, he's one of the one of the best, clearly. And, um, but he's uh, Josh Gordon's a little bit different. Um, receiver, more of a bigger guy, the jump ball guy, um, a little shake at the at the line, things like that. But um, another another elite receiver. They got the Browns actually have some pretty good, pretty good receivers um, with Coleman and Gordon. So um, we'll have to. It'll be another good challenge for us this week. Um, the the record doesn't say much, but um, their skill players are definitely very very elite. How impressive has it been to see Gordon do what he's done the last couple of weeks after having such a long layoff? I mean, you were just barely out of high school when the last time he was playing in the NFL. Yeah, it's it's definitely crazy that uh, how he's been able to not play for three years and then comes out and going against uh, Hayward at Chargers and making plays like that. So when a guy can do that, I mean, he's just he's probably hasn't even really shown how good he can be again. So. We'll definitely have to be aware for him, and um, we'll see how, how the calls go. But um, he's definitely somebody that we're going to have to keep an eye on.